Hey guys, what is going on? McMull2 here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking a look at the Imperial Grand Maneuver team being used in the Heroic Rancor raid. You may remember this is the team I used to solo phase 3 of the Heroic AAT raid. So we're going to take a look and see how they do exactly with the Rancor. We're going to look at the mods. We didn't really go into detail about that in the last video. So we're going to go look at the mods and it's, uh, it's my own team this time. It's not Josh's, so the mods definitely more reasonable for most people so yeah we'll take a look at the mods we'll also talk about the overall strategy because there's going to be a way you have to handle Thrawn between the different uh, before between the different phases because each time you go to a new phase he'll lose the fracture so there's a specific way you should handle it between each phase so we'll go into detail about that with the overall strategy and that will be it for this video so let's go ahead break down the mods we'll talk about that and then we'll go into the strategy so first up we have Grand Admiral Thrawn for him, of course, you don't want to run any bonus speed. So you see he's running just his base 150 speed. In terms of his mods, I'm really just kind of buffing up his health and protection, giving him a little bit of offense as well, so that if the Rancor does attack and he has Fracture on with his Zeta, he's going to be doing a lot of counter damage. So that just kind of helps buff up his damage. He's really, you really don't need to throw mods on him. As long as you don't move up his, his speed at all, you can just throw whatever you want to on for him it doesn't really matter and then next up we have shore trooper you really want to move, uh, buff up his uh, his health kind of get kind of get that moved up a little bit you can see I'm also running some speed on him as well this is just mods carrying over from when I was trying out the phase 3 of the rogue AT raid so really just kind of bump up his health you can see he's running about 31,000 he'll need to be running much higher for phase 3 about 35,000 but for now just kind of giving him some speed and health and then next up we have Grand Moff Tarkin. These are where the speed mods start to really kick in. So you can see I've got him at 225 speed. I'm basically throwing in as much speed as I can on him, giving him some offense and some potency as well, because the more potency that he has, the more bonus offense that he gets or his big AOE terminator reduction move as it is. So get some, uh, get some speed on him. And then we'll look at Orson Krennic next, uh, Director Krennic as as the game calls him. Again, speed, you want to focus on speed. Also, bump up his damage a little bit. As you're going to see with the uh, end game screenshot, he's going to have a lot of the damage. He's going to do almost half the team's damage. So he's going to be doing a lot of damage, mostly because of his basic and his specials. You can see he's running 212 speed. Ideally, you should get that higher, but for now, that's fine. And then we're going to be looking at Jin next. And this is where I have my top tier speed mods on, and that's required. Like, you. Jin should be your highest speed character of all. You see she's got 284 speed. I know that's a lot. I'm about to get some comments about how that's really high. I know. So, yeah, 284 speed. Just throw your best speed primary and secondary mods on her. You really want to get a speed set on her, of course, and then whatever good secondary speeds you have, definitely throw those on her as well. So you want to get 200... You want to get as much speed as possible. I'm not going to throw out a recommended speed for the Rancor Raid, but you want her fastest because of her truncheon strike, which we'll go into more detail about talking about the overall strategy. So that is pretty much it for the mods on this team. Let's go ahead and talk about the strategy. So with strategy, you want to make sure that, of course, everyone has their specials up and ready to go. And as you switch between the phases here, you're going to notice Thrawn loses his fracture. So what you want to do here, as I'll explain as the, you know, do the little flashy intro with the Rancor. I wish there was a way to skip that. But anyway, so once you have this going, you're going to go ahead and boost Thrawn's turn meter. Have him then swap turn meter with the next highest ally with turn meter. Give Thrawn a nice boost. Have him go ahead and go and then knock down that door at this point. You should go ahead and just start getting attacks in. Make sure you put tenacity down like I am not doing in this video right now. I'm using specials instead for some reason, but yeah, go ahead, use the maneuver of Thrawn, get his turn meter up as fast as possible, and then by the time that the rank card comes back up, which again I'm not doing here, you should have Fraction ready to go, and voila, you can just throw it back on auto, and really, you just kind of sit back and watch. There's really not much you have to do, this is kind of a, you just sit here and watch like Thrawn is, and just kind of sit there with your hands back there. And just watch your entire team just decimate the Rancor. Overall, this fight takes about 40 minutes for me, and I got hit twice, and that was just in Phase 4. And that was because the Rancor had that 25% speed boost because of Phase 4 and all that shenanigans. But really, what's going to be happening is all your Imperial allies are going to be using these specials. Reduces Thrawn's and the Rancor's term meter by 15%. And it's not, re it's not resistible on Thrawn, but is on the Rancor, and that's why you need to get the tenacity down in with Krennic, using his basic, preferably while the door is down. 
Because also remember that basic does a ton of damage. It's your high highest hitting basic in the entire game right now. So you've got this basically just put it on auto. Jin should either put the Terminator boost on Krennic or Tarkin when you're set like this. And basically they're just going to be using their specials. Both of them have three specials including Maneuver. So you're going to be getting a lot of Terminator boost between those two characters and then Shore Trooper. It's going to be keeping up his Terminator and his Taunt up a lot. And you can see pretty much Thrawn just never, never really gets any Terminator at all. And you just set it to auto, let it keep going, and you're going to pretty much just dominate this entire fight. So that is pretty much it for overall strategy. It's really not much. Just auto, make sure that you have the fracture set between the phases. But I'll go ahead and I will fast forward to phase four and I will let the fight play out from there because we'll talk about how to handle the fracture there as well. So now that we are here at phase four, what you want to do beforehand is you want to take Thrawn off of auto and get him back to normal with the cooldown on his fracture off so that as soon as you go into phase four you need to get that fracture on because without it the rancor is going to be going really fast remember in phase four the rancor has plus 25 percent speed so without that fracture to get in that speed reduction which by the way we're pretty sure may be bugged we think that the fracture may not be giving a full 50 percent speed down on raid bosses we're doing some testing on that to make sure but yeah keep uh, keep an eye out for that as we go through that but yeah as it is you need that fracture up ASAP otherwise that Rancor is going to get out of control really quickly because you always need some kind of speed man uh, speed maintaining debuff on him either it's speed down or fracture you need something in there and even then you're gonna see there's a lot of close calls here eventually I'm going to get some hits from the Rancor as it is there's just not enough term meter removal in there so getting that getting that speed main maintenance in is really gonna help there so once you have that speed maintenance in you can just set it back to auto and sit back and let everything keep going but it is still gonna have some close calls like I said so really it's just kind of it's just kind of making sure that you get fracture built up before you go back into phase four so have Thrawn move, use Jin's turn meter boost to get him going, have him move and then have him go ahead and do his turn meter swap and maneuver and everything else. If you have the Omega on his fracture like I don't, his fracture will be on a three turn cooldown. So really, you can use the Grand Admiral's command to swap turn meter and then use maneuver again and then fracture will be off of a cooldown on his next turn. So that's a really quick way is to make sure you get that Omega in. So really, definitely think about getting that Omega on Thrawn. But anyways, guys, that's it for pretty much overall strategy. It's the same mechanics as Imperial Grand Maneuver Phase 3. Fracture with Thrawn. Use Jin's Terminator Boost to help Thrawn get boosted between phases to help get his Fracture back up ASAP. And for Phase 4, get it back off of cooldown before you go into Phase 4 so you can get on him as quickly as you can. And then just kind of set the team to auto, let everybody use their specials, and just kind of control the Terminator overall. But anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I'll let it finish playing out. I'm going to do a couple more videos with Thrawn overall. I'm going to do another follow-up to the Imperial Grand Maneuver. I know there's still some questions you guys have. There was not a lot of details at the time because we had just gotten the solo in that day. But we're still working on getting the technical speeds locked down. Really, the only person you have to worry about with speed is Shore Trooper. We're still working on getting that locked down, but everyone else is really kind of optional speeds. So I'll talk about some more moderate speeds. You don't have to have the insane requirements like Josh did. So yeah, I'll go into more depth in depth with that on another video. And then once that's done, I'm going to be taking a look at Phoenix in the raids. I know that since everybody has Thrawn now, people want to know, is there any use for Phoenix overall? And the answer to that is yes, yes there is. And I'll have some videos up. I've got a video with Sabine and the clones. I know people were requesting that since like day one. So I'm going to have a video for that. And then I'll do some other ones of them in the different phases. And we will go from there. So I'll let the rest of this video play out. Let you guys see the end of the fight. Anyways guys, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe for more content in the future. And as always guys, I will talk to you all later.